Hello and welcome to the third section of the web development with Angular JS 2.0 and Bootstrap. In the previous section, we discussed Bootstrap components and styling. In this section, we are going to cover what are the different ways to work on Angular apps using different module loaders and transpilers, and we'll explore the role of TypeScript in Angular 2.0. We will be writing Angular apps using ES5 and ES6, then understanding ES6 apps using TypeScript decorators, working with module loaders and bundlers, working with transpilers for Angular ES6 applications. Welcome to the first video of this section, Building Angular Apps Using ES5 and ES6. In the first video, we are going to talk about how to write apps using ES5 and how it is different from ES6 applications. Before talking about loaders and transpilers, First, we will understand why we need them to create an application. Let's understand the language of future with ES6. Angular 2 is written in TypeScript in order to take advantage of the language features such as types and metadata annotations through decorators. It looks a bit unfamiliar and unclear to developers that don't have experience with TypeScript and ES6. Let's start with understanding Angular 2.0 with ES5 and ES6. After this, we will be able to understand that using ES6 and TypeScript, a lot of things now have been simplified for the development process. With Angular 2.0, we have different options to write the code. Here we are talking about ES5 current version of JavaScript and ES6 coming version of JavaScript. Dart is another option to write the same application, but you will find it totally different from what you are writing in JavaScript. Let's start our app with ES5. In ES5, we don't have a module system yet. So ideally, we should be able to just take a JavaScript file from somewhere that has all the Angular 2 code snippets in it. As our browser supports ES5, we don't need any transpiler and module loader to run our application. Just create the Angular component and bootstrap it in the ES5 way. Let's create Angular components in ES5 and bootstrap it. In ES5, you don't have to care about transpiling, concatenating, deciding on a module system, AMD, CommonJS, and SystemJS, or anything else. We can just fetch a bundled file from code.angularjs.org that comes with the ready-to-use code. Let's check the code. Here we are creating the component and providing selector and template for it, and it seems like the code as we are writing in ES6, but the difference there, we are not using TypeScript decorators. Finally, we are just bootstrapping our component on DOM-loaded events, so we don't need any external dependency for it. Let's see how it is different from ES6 code. Using ES6, every component will be represented by ES6 class. Angular 2.0 is using ES6 features such as arrow function, class, modules, import, and export. ES6 class has a responsibility to get data and inject that data in the template and show it on UI. Angular 2 is written in TypeScript, which is the superset of ES6. To run this example, just hit npm install and see the output using Light Server for both the examples on the browser. Let's see the code in action. Check out index.html. For ES5 code, we are not using any other transpiler and loader, just a rendering component on the Hello World selector. For ES6, we are using Tracer as transpiler and System.js as module loader to render a component. This is the time to get into TypeScript decorators, which we are using with our ES6 code. While developing with Angular app, we will be using annotation decorators at many places. For example, at component, this is used to declare components. At view, this is used to view templates. At routing config, this is used to define routing in our app at injectable. This is used for dependency injection and many more. This is how we can write code using ES5 and ES6 with TypeScript. We have a lot to learn in order to take advantage of TypeScript with Angular 2.0 and what are the different module loaders and transpilers available to transpile ES6 code back to ES5 so browsers can read that code. This is how we can write Angular 2 application code using ES5 and ES6 with TypeScript. In this video, we learned how to write apps using ES5 and how it is different from ES6 application. In the next video, 
we will talk about TypeScript and how TypeScript is making Angular a more powerful language.